My name is Archdeacon Bill Gray, and I'm the priest of the Anglican Parish of Bob Cajun, Dunsford, and Burnt River. I'm leading in this service of morning prayer for Palm Sunday, March the 28th, 2021. For Palm Sunday, you can see that I have my Canadian palm branch, as palm branches and fronds are unavailable to us this year during our pandemic, and this particular branch is from a Canadian balsam fir. And I think it just makes a wonderful local adaptation and option for celebrating our Palm Sunday Parade this year as we shout once again our hosannas and welcome the coming of the Lord. To my far left, you'll see that we have a family picture or portrait on the wall of a Canadian landscape. And this was painted by an artist that you can Google and perhaps find named Mildred Valley Thorne, and she is the great aunt of Ruth. And we've often treasured her artwork and are glad to have a representation of it in our house. If you have these services printed at home, please follow along and join in this Palm Sunday liturgy. Today, will be a repeat of last year's Palm Sunday Sermon, Local Option for Care, because it was the most viewed video of the entire year, and we are coming up on the one-year anniversary of the time since pandemic. Also, I hope you'll like featured a parade with a difference in today's video, as we have video clips of the 2019 Fall Fair Bob Cajun Parade. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Dear friends, during Lent we have been preparing for the celebration of our Lord's Paschal Mystery. On this day, our Lord Jesus Christ entered the holy city of Jerusalem in triumph. The people welcomed him with palms and shouts of praise, but the path before him led to self-giving, suffering, and death. Today we greet him as our king. Although we know that his crown is thorns and his throne a cross, we follow him this week from the glory of the palms to the glory of the resurrection, by the way of the dark road of suffering and death. United with him in his suffering on the cross, may we share his resurrection and new life. Let us pray. Assist us mercifully with your help, Lord God of our salvation that we may enter with joy into the celebration of those mighty acts whereby you give us life and immortality through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Mark. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When they were approaching Jerusalem at Beth Edge and Bethany, near the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately as you enter it, you will find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it. If anyone says to you, why are you doing this? Just say the Lord needs it and we'll send it back here immediately. They went away and found a colt tied near a door outside in the street. As they were untying it, some of the bystanders said to them, what are you doing untying this colt? They told them what Jesus had said and they allowed them to take it. Then they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks on it, and he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, 
and others spread leafy branches that they had cut in the fields. Then those went ahead, and those who followed were shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our ancestor David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Then he entered Jerusalem and went into the temple, and when he had looked around at everything as it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Almighty God, for the acts of love by which you have redeemed us through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The Hebrews acclaimed Jesus as Messiah and King, with palm branches in their hands, crying, Hosanna in the highest. May we also go forth to meet Christ and follow him in the way that leads to eternal life, who lives and reigns in glory with you and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, whose Son was crucified, yet entered into glory, May we, walking in the way of the cross, find it is for us the way of life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Philippians. Let the same mind that is in you be that which was in Jesus Christ, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited. He emptied himself, taking the form of a slave. Being born in human likeness and having found himself in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient even to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God also highly exalted him so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. Hear what the Spirit is saying to us now. Thanks be to God. Our Palm Sunday hymn is All Glory, Laud, and Honor, hymn number 181 in the Book of Common Praise.
This is Palm Sunday weekend. It is the beginning of our Holy Week observances, and when we commemorate Good Friday, the crucifixion of Jesus, and as we anticipate Easter Sunday, the celebration of Christ's resurrection. Perhaps no one feels like celebrating at this time. And it's difficult on a weekend when we recollect that 2,000 years ago, the crowds gathered in Jerusalem and welcomed the arrival of Jesus in triumph and also in great humility, riding upon a lowly beast of burden, a donkey. They took what was available, their coats, their clothes, blankets, and laid them in the road before him. They grabbed from the local trees branches of palm and waved them in the air as well as placed them on the road. And they used their voices, something readily accessible to them, to shout acclamations of joy, Hosanna to the Son of David, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Of course, in the midst of this global pandemic of the COVID-19 virus, and especially the terrible ways in which it has afflicted us locally in Bob Cajun, our celebrations this year are muted and subdued. We are not gathering in our usual groups and community get-togethers. Families will not be getting together in the same way this Easter season for common celebrations and meals. Churches will not be gathering in their worship spaces. And on this Palm Sunday of all occasions, we have branches of palm not available to us. Groups that usually gathered in the church at this time of year to take fronds of branches of palm and make them into palm crosses for our individual use will not do so. Decorators that often gathered in worship spaces to display in wonderful arrangements branches of palm in order to adorn our sanctuaries will not do so. Indeed, we will have to celebrate Palm Sunday in a different way. Those of long ago who gathered in crowds in order to grab branches of palm to wave in celebration of the arrival of Jesus, they did so by simply procuring that which was readily available and local. Palm trees to them, were indigenous to their community. They were not exotic or from a faraway place. They certainly didn't have the attachment of holiness that we place on them today. They simply took what they knew and was familiar and available and they waved it high in the air to shout, high in the air to shout their hosannas. I wonder if on this Palm Sunday, when so much that is familiar and traditional is unavailable to us, if we could do something similar. Perhaps we can go out into our yards and simply cut branches of coniferous evergreens to use in our own personal devotions. Perhaps the more adventurous might even take in a barren branch of some deciduous leafless tree, 
But in commemoration that this is Passion Week and Holy Week, they might do so in the idea of the promise of the life that is yet to come, that is yet to be in the leaves that they hope will show themselves with the arrival of spring in the hopes of what we too might enjoy the new life after this pandemic has passed. There are other ways, if you don't have access to trees in your properties, uh, perhaps a leaf or a sprig from a house plant. We might even get creative and find something leafy in the fridge that was intended for a salad. It doesn't have to be something growing or from a branch of a tree. We may have a very favorite or familiar portrait or picture that features a landscape that has personal meaning and significance. And our reflections upon that image can be for us our own branches of palm to help us to celebrate Palm Sunday. Our focus this year in our community, particularly in Bob Cajun, is on the Pinecrest Nursing Home. We think at this time of those frontline workers, the frontline responders. We think of caregivers and volunteers, of staff. We also think of those who are sick or died and particularly their families and friends as well in their bereavement and mourning, which is made acute, acutely compounded by the fact that many were uh, unable to be available and with their loved ones as they suffered through this affliction. Many of us, as I said, may not feel like celebrating much at this Easter at this time. And yet there are ways to continue to express our own appreciation to those frontline responders that exercise care and frontline attention on our behalf. Many in the community have participated in community drive-bys. Uh, caravans of automobiles have driven past hospitals and medical centers, care facilities, EMS services buildings, fire stations, police stations, and other such public institutions rolling down their windows and shouting at the top of their lungs some expression of their support and appreciation for what frontline responders are doing for us. Others, even with their personal and immediate families, have found ways to connect in similar ways. People in our own parish have organized caravans to drive by the homes of their loved ones to honor and respect anniversaries and birthdays of the elderly and youth alike. And in this way, have found meaningful ways to connect, even in the difficulties that refrain us from having direct contact in this day and age. Others make signs and posters where written words expect our love and connection. They gather outside windows of nursing care facilities and the like in order to show cards and pictures and bouquets of flowers and to wave and to blow kisses and to indicate to those on the inside that those on the outside have not forgotten them. We are finding what I like to determine as local options, local ways of demonstrating our own joy and appreciation of those who enter our lives to offer frontline care. Jerusalem was not unlike our communities and towns and cities that are going through the affliction of COVID-19 virus pandemic today. Jerusalem had its own experience of poverty, hunger, injustice, distancing and isolation and a sense of oppression. There were many that probably did not feel like celebrating when Jesus entered. But they welcomed Jesus as their own frontline responder, as someone 
who cared and was ready to risk even his security in life in order to demonstrate that God had not forgotten them. <clears throat> they were told that their shouting, their hosannas, their celebrations were inappropriate. The crowds that gathered to welcome Jesus into Jerusalem were instructed to refrain and to shut up, and that indeed they were causing risk to themselves and to Jesus himself for fear that the authorities or their enemies or those that didn't like them would retaliate. But Jesus intervened. He said himself, if these crowds were quiet, the rocks and trees themselves would shout out their acclamations. Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Many of us, of course, are finding the need to stay home. And we will commemorate Holy Week observances, that most holy time of our Christian year, and Easter celebrations in isolation and away from family and friends. But we should not feel sorry for ourselves. Rather, we should be encouraged by and find ways to express our own hosannas to those who come and work in the name of the Lord. On our property, we have found a balsam fir that had just the perfect new growth and green on it that expressed to us new life even in this midst and time of death. Perhaps on Palm Sunday, we'll find our own way to go outside, to stand in our yard, to wave this branch high, and in the spirit of thankfulness and appreciation for frontline responders and caregivers, we will shout our own, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And in that way, we will celebrate a different kind, but perhaps even a more meaningful kind of Palm Sunday. The response to each petition in our intercessory prayers is, Lord, have mercy. With confidence and trust, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. For our bishops, Andrew and Rosilla, I ask prayers for myself and my ministry among you, for the one holy Catholic and apostolic church throughout the world, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the church, in the Anglican cycle of prayer, for the Anglican church in Hong Kong, and for the mission of the church, that in faithful witness it may preach the gospel to the ends of the earth, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those preparing and administering vaccines, and those who are able to receive them, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the world, that a spirit of respect and reconciliation may grow among nations and peoples, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those in our hearts, for those who grieve, especially those who remember the life of Stan Potts, Carol Ballat, Audrey Price, Ruth and Tammy Shepard, Miriam Newhook, Jeff Tomlinson, Bob Morris, Hap Lafferty, and Beatrice Armbrecht. We also pray for the poor, the persecuted, and the sick, especially in our parish, Darwin German, Lorraine Campbell, Rose Hellowell, Sandy Thurston, Ruth Gray, Mario Kennedy, Joe Hancock, Doreen Lewis, Thelma Martin, Paul Baxter, Marie Barker, Joan Bolton, Robert and Dave Howie. And all who suffer for refugees, prisoners, and all in danger, 
especially remembering the two Canadian Michaels in prison and unfairly on trial in China as political prisoners. That they may be relieved and protected, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all whom we have injured or offended, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. The colic for Palm Sunday, almighty and ever-living God, in tender love for all our human race, you sent your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to take our flesh and suffer death upon a cruel cross. May we follow the example of his great humility and share in the glory of his resurrection through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are also bold to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.